like something like ropes or chains or or or, or um, some kind of lever or, or some kind of Welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. Other than, other than just doing reaction videos, we also do other stuff. You can find those things in the link in the description box below. Also, feel free to check out my WordPress um, account called Blue. I write from time to time and like I said in my previous videos I'm trying as much to be consistent and just check it out and let me know what you feel about the the writings. I mean if you love to read there could be something there for you. Also I post short poems on Instagram. You can check those out as well and yeah. Thank you to everyone that's been suggesting things we appreciate. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you guys are doing all right. So without wasting time, today I'll be reacting to Jahan, Jahanam's conversation with the angels. I did a video about Jahanam a couple of weeks back. Yeah, and this is another one. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. When Jahannam was created, Allah placed the guardian, the main guardian, who is named Malik. He's the main guardian of the 19 angels. And in the Hadith al-Sahih, when the Prophet ﷺ was lifted to, the, lifted to the heavens and he saw what he saw in the Mi'raj, he was brought, two people came to him. And he was two angels. The first one was Jibreel alayhi salam. And he said, I am Jibreel. And this is my brother, Mikael. And he said, and the keeper of hellfire is Malik. And Rasul Sallallahu when he ascended to the heavens with them, every time he passed by an angel or a people or prophets in heaven, they would say to him, greet him with the salams and they would smile. Except for one angel, and Rasul Sallallahu greeted him and he replied, but he did not smile. When the Prophet ﷺ asked Jibreel السلام, who is this? He said, Thalika Malik. Oh, innahu Malik. That is Malik. Khazin al Nar, the guardian of hellfire. He has never smiled since the day Jahannam was created. Al Rasul also said, I pass by hellfire. And it is the worst image I've ever seen, got ever. I've never seen an image like this ever. The size of Jahannam is humongous. And we know a fire in this world, when you add more fuel to it, it grows. Does this happen to Jahannam? Allahu Alam. But it is huge at the moment. We all know of the hadith, Sahih hadith, Prophet was walking and they heard a rumble. And he said, do you know what this rumbling is? They said, Allahu wa Rasuluhu know best. He said, this is a rock, a stone thrown into hellfire 70 years ago, Sabuna Kharifan, until it now reached Qa'ri Jahannam, the bottomless, the absolute bottom part of Jahannam. 70 years. Jahannam, my dear brothers and sisters, has many gates and many levels. And in the Arabic term, when you say darajat, darajat, they mean levels or steps that rise. And it's only used for Jannah. But when you use the word dark or adrak, they are the levels that go downwards and they are only used for Jahannam. The hypocrites will be in the lowest parts of all the, the levels in Jahannam and you will not find any helpers to them there. This informs us that Jahannam has levels that go down and down and down. Allah says in the Quran, لَهَا سَبْعَةُ أَبْوَابٍ 
Jahannam has seven gates. In each gate it has many sections. Many, many sections. Sections of different torments and pains and different descriptions of, of what happens in there. And each people who deserve what they deserve are entered into the place they deserve. So, different corners, different rooms, different places, different lands, different valleys, different creatures, which torture in different ways. In Jahannam, we will take them by their forelock, a lying sinful forelock. Some ulama, modern ulama say, this frontal forelock includes the frontal lobe of the brain, which is responsible for, for decision making. Knowing what's right and wrong, making decision. Do you want to do haram or not? So they grab them by that lying. It's a lying brain, a sinful brain. One that decided sins, one that decided to lie. Allah says in another part of the Quran, Ulqu When they are ulqu, that this, that, that, when they are dropped, trashed, thrown, the word ulqu, you understand the Arabic language. It's it's so, it's it's a word of degradation. It's a word of, of of absolute. You call an insignificant person, someone who is a leech, someone who is worth trash. We use it when you when you when you drop trash. Al kizibal. Let go of the trash, trash, or, or or drop the trash, throw the trash out. So it's an, this is this is this is the understanding. This is the feeling you get, the perception. When you read those verses, إذا ألقوا فيها When they are throwing, when they are thrown in there like trash. They're nothing. As they are thrown inside. They come nearer and nearer to the voices of Jahannam, the sounds of Jahannam screaming out, yelling out. It has voices. Inhalations and exhalations of breathing with sounds of terror, sounds of, of making you terrified. Roars. And it's for that person. Burning, they hear they hear the burning, the zafir, the, the inhalations, exhalation. They hear the burning as well. They hear the imagine that they hear the burning of people, crackling, burning, melting, screaming. <laughs> Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Yuta bi jannah." وَلَهَا سَبْعُونَ أَلْفُ زِمَانٍ أو ألف زمان. يؤتى بجهنم. جهنم is broad and it will have 70,000 something like ropes or chains or, 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 or um, some kind of lever or, or some kind of uh, connection something that connects to hellfire على مع كل زمام سبعون ألف ملك At every rope there are 70,000 angels what are they doing to it? Rasul said, Tuqad. Tuqad with Sabina al Fazimam. It is steered. It is steered and directed by 70,000 you know, levers. And on every lever there are 70,000 angels. 4 billion, 900 million angels. Why are they there? To steer Jahannam. What's Jahannam? It's like a wild animal. It wants to eat everything. So these angels keep it directed. So it doesn't just eat everything. But only to focus on the disbelievers. So then it calls out, Where are the disbelievers? Where are they? I'm hungry. I'm starving. That's what it's saying. Like a wild lion. So hungry. You can barely tame it. So Allah SWT describes Jahannam as untamed. Jahannam is untamed like a wild beast. It has tongues coming out. You see the tongues growing out, claws, everything coming out. Snakes and scorpions, heads coming out of it. It's a world actually of mountains, valleys, homes, metal, clouds, shades, 
darkness and a little bit of light. It has water, it has food, it has drinks, trees, rivers. Everything that you think of a world, this Jahannam has. Jah Jannah, paradise also is a world. It has mountains, it has valleys, it has rivers, it has, it has, it has, same, same names. But there is absolutely no similarity between what is in Jannah and the same names that exist in Jahannam. So the valleys are full of fire. The mountains are fire. The food is that which burns the insides. The water is that which melts the insides. The trees carry fruits that when they eat them, they choke. They choke and they can't die. The rain is like acid. The clothing is made of metal fiber, metal strings. They burn. I always say why is a person who asks when they don't know something and I'm conflicted why was Jahannam, Jahannam described as an animal was that just figurative language to describe hell what's the difference between hell and Jahannam because Jannah is heaven I hope I'm not mistaken and what's Jahannam? What's hell? I'd like someone to just clarify that for me, please. And I'll really appreciate I'm, I'm eager to learn. Otherwise, I guess it's related to the other video that I did. It had to do with Jahannam and hellfire. Where, I mean, guys, like I said, we, we have the time in the world to look into our lives. Let's live right. There's a lot of things going on in this video and straightforward to answer but I was just conflicted with the questions that I've asked so just answer them for me and let me know your thoughts on this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.